Hello Internet, I am Zenon and welcome back to XCOM. Now we're going to jump right into where we left off and head into Mission Control. Now, was that? Yeah, that was the right thing. Okay, normally, normally it says something <laughs> when you jump into this. So, I guess I meant to use scan for activity. There we go. So I scanned for alien activity and it's come up with some abduction sites. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. So the abduction sites, I, I kind of find this a little weird because I can only see a small area uh, when I scan for activity, but it brings up other countries and these are requests for help. So <laughs> it's a bit weird, but what we have here is this one is Russia, so the top one. Uh, panic is small in that region. Difficulty of this mission is going to be moderate, and that's my reward 200 bucks. This one is in Mexico. Same kind of panic because it's the start of the game. They're all going to be like that. I get four scientists. In Brazil, they'll give me four engineers. So, what I want to do first is check how many. That one's got five scientists and five engineers. So, I think to begin with. Hmm, it's hard to decide which. I've got a lot of research ahead of me, but I also need to make some things. Ah, uh, we'll go Mexico. Let's go. That'll be happy with me. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> but you can see here I've got all the people from last time plus an extra random. So if I clear him away, we can see I've got that. That's the one that I just suggested to me because my last one is wounded. So we'll go with him. Then we'll hit edit. And we'll change up this loadout. So let's see, we've got a support dude, we'll edit him. And we shall equip some med kits that uh, we bought last time. So that one, and then this guy, because he doesn't have a class yet, he also gets a med kit. That's pretty much my general strategy. I like to have at least two units with med kits. Uh, always the support guys first, and then if I have any that don't have a class, then I'll usually give them one. Yeah, let's get into it. Probably start skipping some of these cinematics uh, fairly soon. Because <laughs> they are always the same thing. Let's go. So, quick little briefing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Mm -hmm. Let's go. So, I just have to find and kill all aliens. Yeah, this is the kind of cinematic to skip eventually. <laughs> uh, it's good for immersion, but uh, kind of pointless. And it always shows four people too, even when you have more later. Kind of funny. Okay, out. So we're in the corner. Go two ways. Probably this building will have some. That's my guess. So, I'll send one dude right there. You... Oh. This is a pain. Because I can get some coming down from that way, or out of this building. I'll send him there, see what happens. There we go. Ah, oh, did I... don't think I did. Pretty sure my assault person still has a shotgun. Rat. Yeah, she does. Okay, now unfortunately with the sniper, uh, at this stage I can either move him or I can shoot. So we have to sit still in order to be able to shoot. They're pretty useless at the start, like I said. Uh, you know, a good spot for him would be right there. Oh, we'll sit in there. And this guy leans all the way up there. If I move him, go to there. I'm kind of risking a shot from there, but it's not going to have a very good line of sight around. And this way, I'm going to sit back here on Overwatch. Oh no, it's a shotgun. <laughs> ah, stuff. I don't know. Anyway. I don't really want to move her any further. And there's bad cover. Let's see what these two aliens do. 
Okay. Now you can see this linking thing. If I kill the one that's inside, it'll kill both aliens. Oh, there's another two. Got something over here. That's uh, unusual. Usually they don't uh, reveal themselves unless you stumble across them. Okay, let's move this guy down here. Is that alright cover? Uh, 30, 30, 50. Okay, shoot at that guy. Oh, that was the one inside? Are you kidding? God. That was to get two. Nice. Okay. So, this is my sniper. You can only see one target. Use headshot, increases critical damage, and this should kill it. There you go. Now, this guy... What can you see? 25. Uh, we'll move him up a little. Maybe to here. Sounds good. Let me get vision on that building too. He's still only 25. Let's give it a go. Yeah, miss. It's either leave him sitting there on Overwatch or fire though in that kind of situation. And you have two options and Overwatch has uh, reduced accuracy. I wonder how far you can throw this grenade. Not very. Yours. <laughs> 1% goes to shotgun. So it's Overwatch for. See what happens. Oh, she got hit. Oh, there's another two. Wonder if she'll take a pot shot. Yep. Completely missed. Well, that nice hole in the building, though. Eh? Gosh. Where'd he go? Okay, now this guy, I can see him for 50. Go for it. Ooh, at least he hit. At least he hit. That's a positive. Okay, what can this... No targets have... Uh, useless sniper. 45, 25, 25. Go the 45. I don't want to move him in because he'll probably die. And he missed. This this is uh, one of the largest problems early game. Uh, and then I've got this idiot with the shotgun. Okay, run her up here and see if I can move her in on that one next time because she's got that run and gun ability, so she can sprint and still uh, shoot after. So I'll leave the snapper at overwatch in case. Yep, yeah, there we go. Probably miss. Long time. What? Okay. <laughs> that was a long time aiming. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Just make the other guy freeze in space for a minute while you aim for a couple years. I know that didn't make sense, but you know. Okay, he... Eh, that's odd. thought he'd shoot at the guy that, you know, was close to him. Well, I'm complaining. Happy if they miss. Okay, so if I hit that guy, it's 45. You've got 50 on him. Can I get a better shot? Probably not. Where can you make it? You can make it there. So what we're going to do is run and gun. And we'll sprint her in. You can see just the one alien, 74% chance, and blammo! Takes out two for the price of one. Good work. There we go. Mr. Columbus killed six aliens, lost zero people. It's the way we like to do it. Well, it was fairly uh, quick too. And in comes the landing. But yeah, that's how this game generally is at the start. Ten days out for two damage. Ugh. I, I need that thing. I can do an upgrade. Uh, I'll, I'll show you in a minute what the upgrades are. So I can build labs now because I rescued scientists. And yep, deeply panic increased in the other two regions. 
where I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, research, engineering, I don't have anything going. We've still got some room to grow up here. But if we really want to expand our power facilities, generator. we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, start doing that. the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. So this, I forget what I was going to put in there. I think if I do... Oh, there's something... Oh, I can't remember. There's something that comes up that I want to put in there that's... Oh, I know. It's a satellite uplink. Right. All good. That's what... And can I build one now? No. Need more engineers. Oh, I should have gone for that. Okay, now I know for next time. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits yeah, yeah. to work shush, shush. in the lab. So this is what I was talking about with the upgrade. So once I upgrade, I uh, get my soldiers to rank up. I can increase squad size. Uh, new people already at the squaddy, so they already have a class. Rapid recovery, that's an important one. So I can have my wounded soldiers get back in half the time. And quite often they'd make it back uh, within time to make it to the next mission. But check out this one. So we should plan our deployments carefully. So the members of the council are these other countries. Uh, they want satellite coverage so I can keep them safe, basically. But the moment... Which... Yeah. Okay, so this is we'll launch a satellite in North America. I have none, so there'd be one satellite. La la la. At the moment, I have one in Japan, so it's Asia. But when I have like in uh, in this region, if I have two satellites, then I get more engineers. Three, four, and I get future combat bonus if I have four in this area too. So if I look at Europe, you know, there's different bonuses in different regions. For now, though, I want. There you go. China will give me 100 per month, and it's also in Asia, so I also get an extra three engineers per month. So we go there, and it has the bonus that I already have. Yep. Okay, so that's telling me I've got the maximum satellites up, and I need to build another satellite uplink if I want to launch more. So actually, in engineering, I'll get a satellite going. These things take ages to build. 20 days. It's half my cash, but they're important. And in hangar, I have these things called ravens. These are my ships that shoot down alien ships. And I need... they're called interceptors, I think. Their ship class is raven, though. And I need one of these in each region where I have satellites in order to intercept the UFOs. Ah! Serious scan for activity. Okay, so this is doing something. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. You don't need to. I just heard all that. I find it interesting on the board there, they showed the Thin Men. We haven't actually encountered them yet. Oh, yeah, that's what triggered it. This research being complete triggered the capture alive alien so when research is complete you get this whole story thing i've already uh, seen a fair few of these but i'm also interested in reading them so i'll let you guys pause here and read through so that's me scrolling it down and if you want to read it there you go if not i shall skip ahead if it comes to one that i want to read then i'll just pause the recording and go ahead and read it 
But yeah, so I can build an alien containment facility now to house one if I capture it. Uh, but to capture them I need to uh, figure out what this is basically. <laughs> uh, right now though, you can see in this research like there's normal seven days. These ones are fast and they take less time. At the moment I'm nowhere near housing an alien so I might as well analyze some weapons I think. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Okay, so in two days once this is excavated, I'll put the alien containment facility there. So, we might as well go ahead and scan. Excavation complete. Excavation complete. We'll jump out of that. Facility. Alien containment. So begin construction. It's going to take a week. Work crews on their way to begin construction. I'll send and then, the is once the research is done, then I'll jump in in two days. So you can see my timing there. It's going to be exact same for that facility as getting the. Uh, oh, there's another one. So you can pause there and read it if you want. Weapon fragments, and I can get scopes now. Increase my accuracy. So, this oh hey, it's a week. My bad. <laughs> but it was five days. Be a priority research task, Commander. Well, it told me it was a priority research task. To the project immediately. Sheesh, I've only got twenty credits left. <laughs> oh, I'm spending my cash. Oh, UFA contact. So let's go scramble some interceptors. Send one off, and then we hope like hell that it does not get shot down. Go, go, go! Go, plane, go! So we go, it's zooming over. Then it gives me this screen. The only button I can press is this abort button if my ship takes too much damage. Later on I can buy some other stuff so I can... Oh, this is not... Oh, yes! There we go, we shut down the UFO. This is going to go back for repairs. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. Alright, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. So yeah, the aliens have some kind of advanced technology to be able to crash land and not break up into gajillion pieces like our ships would. Uh, but yeah, the interceptors later on, I will have the option uh, to do extra things to increase the aim and avoidance. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave you in suspense and we shall head to that crash site next time. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.